Strictly the Squeak Heart and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to make a DIY wheel for your hamster. So as you may or may not know, Syrian hamsters are the largest species of hamsters which means they require at least an 8 inch wheel to prevent them from arching their backs. Some larger Syrians may even need 10 to 12 inch wheels. But when you go to a pet store, the wheels are so expensive. If you get an eight inch wheel, it can cost you 15 to $20. And that is even one of the cheapest. So today I will show you how to make a wheel using a container that you can get from the dollar store. Today you will be needing a round plastic container with a lid. And it must be wide enough and deep enough for your hamster to comfortably run in. You will also need some cardboard, pliers, some metal um, wire coat hangers, and scissors or a utility knife. The first step is to use your pliers to straighten out your coat hanger. Now you are going to need to poke a small hole large enough for the wire to fit through, through the middle of your container on the bottom. Okay, once you have completed that step, if the inside of your container is really smooth and slick, you can sand it with sandpaper so that your hamster won't slip once they're inside the wheel. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken my straightened coat hanger and I've bent it into this shape so it lies flat. And then I have just bent it upwards so it stands upright for the base of the wheel. And it formed an X up at the top. And I'm now taking one of those pieces from the X and twisting it around this wire. Okay, so I finished twisting this around and I'm going to trim the extra off. Right here, I'm going to trim that off at the end. And I bent this over and I'm going to stick the container on to that. So I think I have a pretty solid base made. Now let's move on to the next step. Okay, so now you're going to need to draw a circle of approximately one and a half inches on a piece of cardboard. There you go. So now use this wire and poke a hole in the center. Now repeat those steps to make a second circle. Okay, now that you've done that, you are going to take your utility knife and poke a hole through the center of the lid large enough for the wire to fit through. Now it's time to assemble our hamster wheel. Put your lid to the side for now. You are going to stick one of your cardboard circles onto this part of the wire. And next, add the container. 
So now add the lid to your container. We are going to cut holes in it for your hamster to go through after we figure out how everything is going to look. Add the other cardboard circle after you have that put together. And now, last but not least, bend down the wire right here to keep everything in place. Now, if you got yours put together and it's working and spinning great, it took me a few tries. I had to modify the base a little bit because it was either leaning too far back or too far forward. So once you get everything fixed and spinning and standing like you want it to, then it's time to take the lid off and cut a hole in it. Once you've done that, let's put it back together. Keep in mind that you can cut as many holes as you want. Ta-da! Here it is. So we're going to go upstairs and see how the little hamster likes his new wheel. Okay, so now this is going away. We're not going to see that again. Because I'm really hoping that this works. Oh no, don't be too tall. Ta-da! I thought for a second it was going to be too tall for the cage and I was scared. Since this little cutie pie is awake, we are going to see how he likes his new wheel.